Staying on neutral and then turning and then gassing 
Hey, and when if you want to hit, hit that good and stand. Try to stand real quick and hop it. Uh, Funny hop. You guys got to carry your momentum all the way through. <laughs> Yeah, so he's starting to get the skid steer more dial, but just got it. So built the little track here. Actually, Sonny laid out this track, and then he had to leave. It wasn't quite tuned up. So I spent all day yesterday building little whoops and shaping faces and making it to where Hudson would have fun on it. And um, little things like this, on-offs, will help Hudson's timing, but. I like, he's like, oh, take out the next jump. I'm like, dude, watch your back. I'm like, dude, I'm okay with making things safer, but I'm not okay with making them easier. Okay, so if it's if it's gonna make it safer, I'll change it. But if you don't want, like it because it's hard, then it's figured out how to do it. So that's why we're adding a little lip, lip here. He can jump on and off. A lot of people don't know though, on a 65, they have no torque. They have no, um, like the torque numbers are so small that everything's momentum. So you can't just go, brah, brah, because they're, they're like, Ree! they have no guts. So everything's momentum. It's like BMX, you have to like BMX flow everything. So that's why we need to make sure stuff is, you know, where his bike can make it over it. And Hudson's still learning. He's not, like Hayden can make it work. Like Hayden can make any bike work. Where Hudson's, you know, he's still got a ways to go. So, anyway, I think it's a cool little, cool little supercross track. I told Hudson if he comes home from school every day and rides, that this make him a lot better rider, you know? It's uh, got everything you need to be good at supercross. So I would have, died for a track like this when I was a kid. <laughs> Track. Make sure you subscribe, go get the merch, and bye. Later! <laughs>